Hello and welcome back to another coffee tasting video. If it's your first time here, we are an espresso centric channel. We deal with the original line and the virtual line of Nespresso. If that's what you're looking for, you have found the right channel. For my returning Podhead family, we will have any and all announcements at the end. But without further ado, let's get to today's star attraction. Buenos Aires. So let's take a look at what they have to say. All right, so Buenos Aires. Down here, the aromatic profile. Buenos Aires Lungo is an aromatic and balanced blend with nutty cereal notes, abundant sweetness, and characteristic popcorn notes. Interesting. <laughs> that sounds, that sounds kind of fun. This is part of the World Exploration Series. Let's see, they say roastiness one, acidity two, bitterness one, and body one. Wow, intensity four out of 13. Man, this is gonna be a light, light, light drink, I think. And it is the Lungo, so we got the 3.7 ounce pour. All right, so that sounds interesting. Popcorn, kind of sounds fun. So let's take a look at the pod. Ooh. Cut. Just a very, very basic silver, but yeah, there's your pod. It's like almost like a silver pod, but gray and then gray writing or swirly design all the way around. It's going to be kind of hard to see, but they have the name kind of split up all over on it. It's like Buenos Aires, nutty, sweet and popcorn notes. Buenos Aires, let's go brew a shot. All right, we're gonna go round one. I've set this to the Lungo setting. Let's get this guy going. All right, it's done brewing. Boy, <laughs> they said level four. Yeah, just judging from the light. I mean, good grief. Yeah, level three, level four. Just nothing to speak of for smell. Maybe if anything, it has a little bit of a, yeah, maybe a little bit of a nut smell. So, yeah, well, let's go give it a taste. Buenos Aires, let's give it a taste. Huh, it kind of surprises me a little bit. I'm gonna start kind of off. It's got a little bit of a, like, almost like a silky texture to it. It almost feels like it's coating your tongue a little bit. Boy. <laughs> Nutty, abundant sweetness, and popcorn notes. I don't know what they're describing, but I don't taste like what they're describing at all. It's got a little bit of a sweetness to it, but for me, it's overpowered by kind of a odd tart taste to it. It's got a, uh, I don't know, kind of a bizarre, almost like sour aftertaste that's kind of like, like right up the middle of my tongue. It's, it's odd. Yeah, it's got a nice, it's got a nice silky texture to it, but it is very watery. So if you're wanting some body or you're wanting that lingering taste, which I'm not sure I would want this to linger around much longer than it is. I do not taste nutty. I do not taste an abundant sweetness and I sure don't taste popcorn. I have no idea what this is like this kind of reminds me of when they had those holiday flavors where I, I i thought what they did is they just grabbed like a a pile of words and threw them up in the air and then grabbed some out of the air and then whatever words they were that's what they stuck on the description that's kind of what this reminds me of i don't taste anything of what they're saying maybe a tiny bit of the sweetness but this says abundant sweetness Abundant. It's just a watery, 
tart, sourish, very generic espresso. I had my wife uh, just take a taste of it just to see if maybe my taste buds are off today. She said it kind of tasted like a generic cup of coffee. So that's, I guess, a, a, as reasonable of an explanation as any. Um, hmm. um, I think we're going to bring uh, Oatly back out. Let's go round two. Let's add a little bit of milk and sweetener to it to bring out that abundant sweetness that's already there. So let's go round two. Let's go brew another shot. We're going to get this going. I've still left it on the Lungo pour, so we're going to get that guy going. And then we got three ounces, just a hair over three ounces of the Oatly milk. I'm going to add some sweetener into it because evidently the abundantly sweet coffee was not sweet enough for me, which means I'm thinking it's not that sweet. So I'm going to add just one full pump or a half a tablespoon. I'm going to put it into the Aracino because the Aracino will create a little bit more of a creamy texture than my wand does, and I don't want it to water it down. So I'm trying to maintain the, maintain that. I'm just gonna do it on normal froth. Why is that going so weird? I think our machine is having a malfunction. I'm gonna, eject this capsule and try it again. I don't know what was going on, but we're gonna go again. Um, that's still frothing. So we have it on Lungo. Let's see how this one does. That looks better. All right, we'll take this one instead of the other one. Bella's all excited for her first cup of coffee in the morning, but uh, it's time to make a video. You okay with that? Huh? Yeah. All right. Our coffee's done. The frothing is done. Let's get these two together. I'm hoping that by not diluting it down with any of the uh, water from the wand, I'm hoping that we maintain a little bit more of that creaminess. Let's go give it a taste. All right, we got Buenos Aires. We have a little over three ounces of milk, one pump of sweetener, half a tablespoon. Let's give this a taste. That's not bad. Now, oddly enough, that little bit of nutty that they mentioned, the nutty cereal, nutty cereal notes, I, I would say nutty, is coming through. The sweetness is because I added some, but popcorn that is that's not bad that oatly milk again just so wonderful yeah it i can't say that you're gonna taste a lot of what they're mentioning in the uh in the uh description but the nutty does come through a little bit i'm i'm gonna do something i'll be right back this is gonna be an experiment I'm gonna add some peanut butter into this. So I'm just gonna put a half a tablespoon of peanut butter in. I'm also gonna add into this, oh, that hangs nicely. Add into this just a little bit of caramel. So I'm gonna say that's like a half a tablespoon also of caramel. All right, let's give it a taste. I think that would play out well on a stronger one. Uh, that's pretty good. Just adding some random little bit of peanut butter and it helped accentuate that little bit of nut flavor that was coming through. It's got almost a, uh, almost like a candy bar taste to it now. Yeah, just a teeny bit more caramel to it. That's, it's pretty good. I, I think you'd end up with the same thing with just about any of them that we could throw in with this. It did help bring out that little bit of nutty flavor, but overall, I I, I think the capsule kind of uh, failed to deliver. So I think that's where we'll wrap this one up. This is gonna be a short one, unlike last week, which was like 5 million cups laying out here. I think we're gonna stop there on this one. Let's take a look at what they're doing here. Buenos Aires Lungo, 
70 cents a capsule, so no upcharge at all. Taking everything into account, I think this pod kind of fails to deliver on the sweetness, the popcorn, the nutty, kind of on almost everything. My wife thought that tasted like a cup of coffee, an average cup of coffee. It was kind of fun putting the peanut butter with it and all that, but I think you could have gotten the same thing and it would have probably been better because it would have had a little more bite to it, a little more oomph to it, and that would have been with like a Napoli pod or a Venezio pod or something like that. So for this one, I'm gonna say pass. It, it really doesn't do much for you, so yeah. Well, they can't all be winners. That'll bring us to an end of this week's video. I thank you so much for your time. To my wonderful patrons that are scrolling here on the side, thank you so much. This time next week, we should be using the new software and delivering our content in 4K. Thank you guys for supporting this channel like you do. And it, it just, again, I say it every week and I'll continue to say it. You guys are awesome and I thank you so much. If you've made it this far into the video, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you're alerted anytime we drop a new video, which is every Friday. You can join us over at our website, NespressoReview.com, or if you choose, you can join us also and support the channel directly at Patreon.com forward slash IPON70. It's the same as the YouTube channel. But until next week, in vivid 4K, <laughs> have a great rest of your day.